Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy Smeekle, also known as Smeekle, but you can call me Smeekle. And as you guys already know, unless you don't watch basketball, the Indiana Pacers and the Cleveland Cavaliers are matched up in the first round. First game was earlier today. Cleveland ends up taking the first game, but today we're going to find out who is the better shooter between Paul George and LeBron James. So we're going to be doing the basic three point or shooting competition we do on this channel we do three mid-range shots five three pointers three deep range shots and then a half court shot to finish it up and whoever does it in the least amount of time ends up winning the competition it's all timed um so the faster the better and we're starting off with lebron james here we're gonna be playing on hall of fame difficulty just to make it the most uh, realistic and we're gonna start off with a stopwatch in and as soon as he releases the ball, the time will start. All right, so it starts right now. LeBron gets a perfect release on his first shot. He's not going to miss uh, mid-range shots. Those are probably his best shooting his best shooting spot, except for when he does a little fadeaway like that, and he does it again. What are you doing? What are you doing, LeBron? Oh, my gosh. He got it to go there. There we go. He's on to his three-point. First three-pointer for him goes in. I don't know what he was doing on the mid-range right there. He kept fading away out of bounds and missing for some reason. But he's got two three-pointers in so far. Third one, that's no good. He misses his first three-pointer. But he gets a perfect release on the next try. Oh, my gosh. What are you doing? Here we go. Line up on the line. There you go. He gets that one to go. He got one more three-pointer. And then we're on to the deep-range shots which really make the difference in this competition. So how we're doing the deep range is right where it gets fat, uh, skinnier like that. That's where you launch it from. He gets his first shot in, and then we're going from the middle next, and it's going to be right where it gets skinny again. Puts up his first shot there. That is no good. Second shot, and it's no good again. See if you can get attempt number three. Attempt number three is no good. I don't think he's good at catch and shoots, so we've got to line up with him. Oh my gosh, he missed again. All right, attempt number, I don't even know what attempt this is on here, but he's up to almost a minute and a half, and he cannot hit this deep range shot right here. Oh my God, LeBron. Come on. Oh my God, he misses again. There we go, finally sinks that shot, and we're on to the final deep range shot, and then we're moving on to the half court shot. I thought that was in for a sec. Move that up a bit more. And there we go. He sinks it right there. And now we're on to the half court shot. Somebody can get him a ball right here. He's got to line up. See if he can get it on his first try right here. Line him up. Puts it up. And it's no good. Let's we'll see if he can get it on his second try though. It's about being fast. Not about um, how many attempts you take though. So he's got to hurry up right here. Second attempt. Or that was a third attempt from half court. Still nothing to go right now. He's got to hit this pretty soon if he wants a chance at winning this. I mean, I don't know how good Paul George is going to be, but we will find out. Another shot goes up, and he misses again. Are you kidding me? Come on, line him up. Good. There we go. That's got to go. Oh, my gosh. That was so close. Here we go. I don't even know how many attempts he's taken, but it's been a lot. Come on, LeBron. Line him up. You can't take more than 10 attempts on this half-court shot. He misses again. Come on. Here we go. That's going in. Oh, it, it didn't have the distance. Had the aim right there, but he didn't have the distance. He's almost up to like three minutes almost, and he still hasn't hit this half-court shot. Come on. Still nothing to go. Can he hit it right here? Can he hit it right here? That was a weird shot, and it misses. That was actually really close, though. Jeez, he cannot get anything in right now. Somebody give him a ball. Somebody give him a ball. We're on a timer right now. There we go. No. Again, it's another miss. LeBron can't hit a half-court shot right now. Oh, my God. Come on. You can't take more than four minutes for this. I don't know what type of shot that was, but it wasn't a good shot. Okay, line him up. There we go. That's going in. And he doesn't get the distance again. Every time he gets the aim, he doesn't get the distance. There we go. Finally sinks it. I stopped that a bit late. Around 3 minutes and 35 seconds for LeBron to finish the course right there. It's not too bad. It wasn't the best run, but let's see if Paul George can beat it. Alright guys, so we're on to Paul George right now, and we're about to line him up right here, and we're going to start his timer. First shot for Paul George. He ends up draining that shot. Second shot. 
He gets it in on the first try as well. And now we're on to the final mid-range shot. We got to make sure. There we go. No fadeaways for him. And now we're on to the three-pointer. First three-pointer for Paul George. He sinks that easily. We're on to the second three-pointer. Going to move up with him a bit. Another perfect release for Paul George. He's had a perfect release on literally every shot i think so far he drains another three-pointer still has not missed he's got one more three-pointer to go and he drains that so we're on to the deep range shots for paul george we're gonna go right when it starts to get skinny right here he puts it up his first shot it is no good for him that is way too close right there that wouldn't have counted even if it did go in it's got to get skinny like that there we go he bangs that shot home he couldn't get it closer up but he bangs it when he moves back now we're on to the middle shot. First try for him. It bangs off the back of the rim. And he misses it. Second shot. Again, super close for him. Come on. You got this. There we go. He drains it on his third attempt. Only had a minute so far. And it's looking like he might destroy LeBron here. Oh, I thought he hit that on his first try. Second try for him. Again, another miss. Come on. You got to get more in the corner here. Move up a bit. There we go. That's the spot you got to shoot from. Misses that attempt. Attempt number three from here. He's getting so close on every single one, but he's not banging them. There we go. He gets that one to go. And now we're on to the half court shot. Only at a minute 30 for Paul George. Can he hit it right here? First attempt from half court. And he misses his first attempt. We're on to attempt number two. He puts that up again. Super close, but cannot manage to get it in. He's on to almost two minutes right now. And, I mean, he's got another what a minute and a half to beat lebron so he's looking good right now he might actually be able to do this he just gotta hit this half court shot he puts it up right there it's off the back of the rim again come on again another really close miss but he can't get them in that's some number i don't even know what attempt he's on but he's gotta hit this pretty soon i mean he still has a minute and a half to beat lebron and he keeps missing these shots come on he got the here way faster than lebron did He's got to hit this. That's in. No. Are you kidding me? Here we go. Here we go. That's no good. He's got another minute to hit this shot. Come on. Line him up right here. You got to hit this half court shot. Paul George. Come on. That's in. That's cash. He ends up doing it right there. So two minutes and 35 seconds for Paul George. And that's actually a minute faster than LeBron. So he completely destroyed LeBron right there. And Paul George... I guess he's the better shooter, you know. I mean, LeBron's probably the better all-around player. But Paul George can really, really hit them shots. And there we go, guys. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more daily 2K content. This has been your boy, Smeagol. And I'll see you next time. Peace.